In this video, I'm going to show you a spacing concept out of the play Flood in Madden 21 that is going to help you work the ball up and down the field against your opponent, especially with situations where they like to be Mabel coveraging. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21 and if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. That's going to help uh, you know whenever we release a new video and if you want to know for sure whenever we release a new video, go ahead and turn on your notifications um, at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so if you don't already know, I just released a full gun bunch ebook. And if you want to pick up the full scheme, the full offensive guide, it is in the description. It shows you how to beat man, beat zone, beat blitzes, blitz coverage defense, beat pretty much everything that you're going to see um, in MUT, in weekend league, and in regs as well. So uh, it works great for both modes. But what we're going to be talking about today um, is my favorite personal play out of this bunch is the play Flood. Um, I think it's the most powerful play, the most dominant play, um, and the most systematic way to just simply work the ball up and down the field. And I don't think people call it enough and... Um, I have been just labbing this play like crazy. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to, uh, a couple of different adjustments that you can make from it that are really, really effective for spacing concepts, especially when people start to um, do things like set their zone drops to 25, 5, and 5, and they try to take away um, a lot of the underneath stuff with Mabel concepts and just using, you know, hitch um, hook curls and stuff like that. So. Here's how you're gonna set this up. All you're gonna do, and I'm gonna audible over here to the Mike Blitz 3 meta and show you some Mabel coverage. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna put the circle receiver here on a hitch. We're gonna put the, the, uh, the triangle receiver, which is your running back on an option route, and we're gonna smart route it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the square receiver. You can do multiple things. What I like to do is just simply put him on a smoke screen. Okay, he's just gonna go on a smoke screen. And the snap of the ball, what you're going to see here is that this snap throw to the running back is ridiculously good. If they run Mabel coverage, if they run Mabel coverage, this is one of the best, most dominant routes because a lot of times what people are going to do with their user is they're going to stand right here and they're going to in initially, they're going to jump to the right side to defend the bunch because of how good the play flood is. So what you can do is kind of get a little step up on them and hit them with this little quick dot right here. And as you can see, it's an easy read, but man, it does it does wonders for your offense. It's quick if they blitz off the edge. Uh, let me show you something like that. So let's say they're sending some pressure at you. And again, this would be great for a situation like this right here where they're kind of usering on this right side. And let's say that they send some pressure, um, snap the ball, oh, blitz. Okay, just pop that right out. And bam, you got another 15 yard gain from a nice little quick throw. So the beauty of this is it really forces your opponent to have to put some type of yellow zone on the right side or on the left side of the field, okay? So let me show you an example of something like that. So they're gonna put a yellow zone. So they're gonna put a vertical hook right there. Well, already we've eliminated the opportunity for them to have a lot of success blitzing and we've forced them to have to now come back to the right side. Well, this is where that hitch is going to come into play because now what we've done is we've forced a lot of a lot of routes over there on that left side to be able to be effective. Let me show you an example of something like that. So let's say that they're just going with their standard Mabel coverage um, on the on the left side here. And the only adjustment that they're going to make is they're going to put that triangle receiver or triangle corner, which is the safety into a purple. And then they're going to take their user and they're going to go upfield with this with the uh, with the out route, okay, to to Devonte Adams. That's where your hitch is really going to sh shine. So the flats will pull all those zones away, and then you can just check down right there to that hitch. That's Mabel coverage with no yellow zone. And so what the point of this is is what we're forcing we're forcing them into a very intentional and specific coverage that we want them to have to run. And that is something like this, where we have a a, a hook zone right there. And then we have some type of hook zone on this backside and probably even a flat zone, but where their user has to kind of work over here. Now what that's gonna do, these underneath yellow zones at five yards a pop, they're going to do a good job at sitting underneath on this little option on these, on these routes. But what you can do is you can high point pass or you can just kind of lob pass this route to the running back if they're in a situation you know where they're doing something like that so again i'm just going to put the vert hooks out here just to show you what i'm getting at but if you take a look here if you watch the running back route here 
if I can get it to work. Um, that's what, eh, we're not going to get it to work here, but you will see a nice little window. Um, and of course, I threw it, I threw it away. But you notice how you notice how the out route um, will pull the yellow zone to it. So, for example, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, like right here, I've just got two yellow zones, two vertical hooks, and I've got two uh, curl flats. The curl flats are at 10 yards uh, depth, I believe. They might be at five yard depth. So if you watch this play, what you're going to see is it's going to kind of pull him. See how it pulls him out of the way? And then you have a nice little check down. That's a nice little late read, a little late feature of this route that is really, really good of that hitch route. Because what's going to happen is you're going to go through your progressions and then you're going to come back and you're going to be like, oh, the hitch is wide open, you know, after I, after I waited just a little bit on that. So, you know, now we're going to do a vertical hook. Um, and we're gonna do a three wreck on that side of the field. I just want you to watch who plays who. Um, same thing on the back side here. And just watch the setup here. So again, the out route goes, he's gonna move. He doesn't move there, but see how you can slide in the pocket and easily hit Aaron Jones in the back of that in the back of that zone there. And the beauty of this is this sets us up for success because if you actually looked at if you look at all of the things about this play that really make it really click in my opinion, let's say they're running a lot of those underneath zones. Um, and obviously they're going to be concerned about the out route. You just you just start to run out of players. Like you just start to run out of players. So you're going to have to do something like this right here. User here. You're probably going to have to sit on that route. Now you've only got two people rushing. And now what we've now done is we go ahead. Oh, we're going to open up the whole middle of the field and then throw that dig route if we wanted to. Um, and we'll show you a setup later on about how to do that. But my point is simply that this really does force them. It is almost impossible for them to blitz this out of zone. Um, now, what about man coverage real quick? If they do run man coverage, I want you to be prepared for that. Um, man coverage, simply put, um, and, and right here, I think I actually ended up in the zone coverage here. But if they run man coverage on you, you've got two or three things that you can do. Um, this is not, this by no means is a man coverage setup. Um, it is definitely a zone coverage. Um, it's gonna be a lot better against zone coverage, but I do wanna show you um, some man coverage here just so you can see it. Um, and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this option route. That's the number one thing we've got, and that's the most consistent read. And as you can see right there, it's gonna get about 15 yards and get separation. And then from there, um, what we're gonna be able to do is the same thing on the back side. You're going to see natural picks, natural rubs occurring in the bunch formation here with this. Um, one of the things I like is to hit that tight end. If you time that throw the right way, the way we teach you in the ebook, um, that will actually be a nice little read against man coverage. And then the next thing I want to show you or share with you is this route, of course, to Devontae Adams. You're going to see that he's going to cut to the outside. And then as you see there, it's a very simple and very consistent separation that he's going to get against man coverage so you have three man beaters you know woven into this play um the other thing that i would say is let's say that they're you know man blitzing you um what a lot of times if they shade coverage up meaning if they don't press that that hitch route right there you can just low ball that and he'll sit down for about five yards that's another thing that you can do against man coverage so you have options against man coverage it's just this play is specifically designed for you know situations where you're going to get a lot of mabel if you're getting a lot of mabel coverage this is your play 100 percent um this is definitely the play that you want to be running um, just because the yellow zones just i mean the yellow zone they're gonna have to put at least two yellow zones on the field so two yellow zones plus um you know, four uh, flat zones for the Beyblade and six plus the deep defenders is, um, I mean, they're gonna, this is gonna force them to have to put nine people into coverage, which is really, really cool. So uh, anyways, this is gonna help get you off of the, you know, people aren't gonna blitz you as much, you're gonna have more time in the pocket because this gives you some really nice little quick reads, quick dots that you can use against pretty much every defense in the game, but in particular, the Mabel defense, which in my opinion is going to start to become very popular again if it's not already starting to turn that direction. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want to get the full offensive scheme, if your offense has been struggling and you want to take your offense to the next level, I would encourage you to go ahead and pick up that Gun Bunch Jets offensive ebook. Um, it's 
there's a link in the description that will take you to the the place to pick that up it's just 15 bucks for the bunch if you want to get the bunch and the bunch tied in ebooks together then those ebooks for the price of one ebook would be 20 uh 20 bucks for to get those together so if you want to get both the bunch and the bunch tied in that in my opinion is the best deal um each of those guides individually are 15 bucks but you can get them together for 20 bucks so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and again if you have any questions you can always hit me up via text message my number is 208-218-6900